Hey friends, sitting out by the wood pile here. It's a beautiful day in Montana. Hopefully it's a beautiful day where you are. I'll show you the view before we get started in my mini, I don't know what you call these, info series. Um, but yeah, here's the view. Look at that. Gorgeous today. Got a little snow in the mountains. Got all the hay put up for the horses. They are in the dry lots though because we got rain so they can't go out today not until it dries because it'll ruin the ground and if we ruin the ground we won't grow the grass you know how that goes right if you have horses or livestock okay so we are talking about the thyroid because so many people are commenting about the problems that they've had with the thyroid so if you're just hopping on live please say hello also, please type the word thyroid if you or someone you know and love has had thyroid issues. And I feel like I call it the canary in the coal mine because there's so many people here in the U.S. that are having issues with their thyroid. And I think it really comes down to a few things. And hopefully I can share with you all some information that will get you thinking, that will get you researching, and that might help you change a few things in your daily habits to support the health of your thyroid. I don't think a lot of people really think about the thyroid until they have issues with it. But you know how I like to come online and bring you all some information that I think is a conspiracy and that I think is information being either intentionally withheld or it's information that um, is being manipulated to influence people's decisions. Have you guys been noticing that uh, in your daily life with the media, with what you see on social media, with what's censored? Um, Cause I'm feeling like it's kind of a nightmare out there in terms of the censorship and the information that is ever so simple that could really create health and wellness for you. And I do believe that in our modern lives, we allow so many chemicals here in the US versus over in Europe. Have you, I'm sure you all are seeing this past week, the whole um, big to-do over Kellogg's and the ingredients that they put in their products. Um, I find it interesting that they're being targeted because that's not the only brand, not by a long shot. And there's a lot of, um, chemicals that are allowed here in our products that we consume, that we use for body care, that quite simply are not allowed everywhere else in the world. And I feel like Americans don't travel very much, and so they don't really have a great frame of reference for what's happening elsewhere. I've lived in multiple countries throughout my life, as well as developing countries, and I've seen not only um, what's allowed or not allowed, and ingredients. I've always been a person who read labels. I remember when I lived in Nepal over 20 years ago, reading labels on a package of cookies, and it was just like the most simple ingredients list. And I was just like, what is, what is this? I can't believe they have such simple ingredients in this package of cookies. I couldn't believe it. Really, I couldn't. So, um, and if you want to do a comparison, you can go to World Market and you can look at some of the labels that they have, because, you know, they import a lot of products from around the world. And, um, so what I want to do, what we're doing here, we're talking real quickly about the thyroid and I've made it a goal of mine to come online and share information with you every single day. And my um, reason for doing this is my husband and I are both functional medicine practitioners. He is a PA. I am a functional medicine coach, three years training and with a really incredible naturopathic doctor from Boston. And basically, we've learned a lot, not only because of our own health, my, my health issues with chronic Lyme and mold, which I am doing much better now, and, um, but also just my husband's passion. He was working in Western medicine in the hospital, but he got very fed up and frustrated with the whole process for him as a provider. He wasn't able to educate and provide knowledge and prevention and nutrition because the protocol basically was you do a test, you give us an injection and, um, and or we do imaging and surgery. Like 
that's what the protocol was basically and he was so frustrated by that because he knew a lot of pharmaceutical meds actually lead to problems they lead to addiction they lead to issues with lowering your glutathione glutathione is a natural antioxidant we create in our liver and anyway there's like that's a whole nother topic if you guys would like to hear that story um, just type Rob's story I will go live with him and he can share his story of why he left Western medicine and started his own private practice and uh, in in functional medicine and prevention um, so anyway back to the thyroid um, there's a couple things that I think you guys could incorporate in your daily life and I shared this in my detox group. If you're not in my detox group, type detox in the comments because we are kicking off a detox on November 1st. And I would love for you to join if you're not in there yet. Um, so go ahead, type detox if that's something of interest. Otherwise, I'm going to share this information about the thyroid and this molecule that's so important to your health and wellness and what you can even start doing today, okay? Because like I said, I'm gonna give you some actionable points that you can apply to your life today. One of them is sea salt, unrefined sea salt. So important, do you know why? And do you use sea salt? Type sea salt if you do use it in your daily diet, because not a lot of people do, I'm finding. But sea salt is a really, really cool, um, I guess we could call it seasoning, but it's actually something essential. Uh, the reason I love sea salt is it has trace minerals in it, and the trace minerals, there's about 70, 75 of these trace minerals found in sea salt, depending on which brand you get. We, sorry, we use the brand called Celtic Sea Salt, and I like sea salt because it's evaporated naturally from the sun, sun's evaporation and, you know, heating away the water so that you're left with the sea salt and the trace minerals. Um, I don't love Himalayan sea salt because of the mining equipment. It can actually add some heavy metals and then also maybe heavy metals that are existing in the ground where they're harvesting Himalayan sea salt, which is from Nepal, and I've been in that area, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, but the cool thing about the sea salt, like I said, is it has the trace minerals. Now, the other neat thing about it is it's very soothing to your adrenals. So if you've had chronic stress and you're feeling, let's see, what is it, wired but tired, or you're feeling really burnt out, or you're getting sick a lot, that can be from adrenals, adrenal blowout, they call it. But you can nourish the adrenals by having that sea salt every day. And the goal is to wake up and have a quarter teaspoon of sea salt in water first thing in the morning. If you can have lemon, add a half a lemon every single morning. Do this every day, every day, every day. Because sea salt will not only nourish the adrenals it'll be soothing to the kidneys flushing the kidneys which is very beneficial because if you have a toxic liver and you're kicking toxins back out into the bloodstream and the lymphatic system and you're dehydrated then you're going to have problems and i call the thyroid the canary in the coal mine because when you are iodine deficient you're not getting your sea salt on board you're not drinking enough water you're not getting your electrolytes potassium magnesium etc then you will find you're going to be developing issues and generally it starts with a thyroid okay so you might hear of um, people that have had hyperthyroid hypothyroid um, autoimmune conditions like Hashimoto's uh, even cysts nodules goiter which is a enlarged thyroid um, you've probably heard of fibrocystic breast disease or the breast that feels hard or rock hard some people would describe it um, that's because your breast tissue is the greatest reservoir for extra iodine in the body and when we are iodine deficient the thyroid is going to suffer because we have so many toxins in our environment that um, yeah the problem is some of those molecules actually are a little bit similar to iodine and so your thyroid tries to grab the iodine like bromine specifically bromine is one of these major ones so is fluoride and it will try and grab that and make thyroid hormone with it now imagine how are you going to make thyroid hormone with a chemical like bromine it's very difficult bromine is a bleach and a preservative that they put in baked goods um, which is also one of the reason that in my family we only eat the sourdough bread that I make okay and we've done that for years why because if you look at the label of bread it's got horrible horrible ingredients 
and um, also enriched flour. There's another one, a whole nother rabbit hole to go down with you. <laughs> but if you have the MTHFR defect in that relates to methylation, then enriched flour is actually poisonous to you. And they spray folic acid on the wheat and then that, um, um, it's just not good, not good for you. So it, folic acid is synthetic. It's not the natural form of methylfolate. Anyway, that's another topic. If you're interested in MTHFR defect, go ahead and type MTHFR defect. Anything that I share, if you're interested in it and you want more info, just type that topic in comments because I keep track of what you're sharing, what your interest is. And even those watching the replay, I come back, I keep track, I take notes, and um, that helps me come up with my next video for you. And Okay, so back to the sea salt. The reason this is important, like I said, is it's got the minerals, the trace minerals. The salt helps flush out your cells. It helps electrify the cells and the processes in the body so that your metabolism functions in a healthy way, that you are not dehydrated. And the protocol is a quarter teaspoon in water upon waking. And that can be, I, I do mine in a couple ounces. I drink it down. It's very, very salty, like drinking seawater. And then I drink a full 12 ounce glass of plain water, filtered water, by the way. <laughs> so I drink that and then I do it again in the afternoon. And I just really feel a lot better. And also this is really good for the person who has chronically low blood pressure. And I'm gonna mention too, side note, MTHFR, high blood pressure. It could be that, okay, you could be the MTH. THFR defect if you have high blood pressure. And we know this because my husband tests for that defect and has helped his clients get off of high blood pressure, high blood pressure methylation defect issues. And by um, fixing that up, no more blood pressure medication <laughs> was needed. So that's kind of cool. Um, I will, like I said, help you guys with more topics down the road and would love for you to just keep commenting what your interest is. And like I said, and when I do these videos, I tend to kind of go down a couple different rabbit holes just because things come to mind. And then also you all will, you know, share your questions and that kind of thing. And that helps me think of the next topic to share. But I have to read this to you because this is from the, from that book that I keep talking about to everybody. You guys really got to get it. The iodine crisis. And we had a viewer yesterday go on my video and she commented that her friend had healed her breast cancer by taking high dose iodine. And this whole book <laughs> has all of the reasons that that works. And story after story after story of people's, mm, let's say, different health conditions being solved by this iodine crisis by getting iodine back into their diet. And um, for example, I'll just read, read you this, um, this little testimonial. Meet Carla, her ovarian cysts and fibrocystic breast condition now undetectable. After my hysterectomy in 1987, the doctor told me that I had ovarian cysts. Since then, at my last exam, the doctor said there weren't any. They could, they could be felt before. I also do not have the stabbing pains that I had in the past. In regards to the fibrocystic breast tissue, a doctor told me during an exam that I had that she could feel them. Again, at the last exam, the doctor said there were no more signs. All the pain and the lumps are gone. Thank you to iodine and the sea salt protocol. So I can tell you that cysts that form in the body are almost always a result of iodine deficiency. Um, and the other day we were talking about the big C and the whole scam around it because they are, raising, there we are, I disconnected a second. We're raising all this money, you know, in the month of October and they're always saying we're looking for a cure, we're fighting the fight and yada yada. Um, it's actually very simple. There's three things that cause the big C. It's chemicals, it's radiation and it's parasites, as well as, as you probably know. The chemicals are replacing the minerals that are needed in the body. And so, what do you get? You guessed it, the big C. So if you want to avoid the big C, I say get educated on these natural solutions that God has given us. And that brings me to my favorite phrase, <laughs> Christ is king.
And when I say that, we either tap the prayer sign, type in the prayer sign, or type in the little crown emoji, because I truly do believe that God gave us the solutions we need to heal our bodies. And I'm just doing my little part here in my little corner of the social media internet space to bring you the information that I can as I learn it. So I hope this is helpful. Are you guys enjoying it? Yay, look at all of our prayer hands. Thank you guys. Um, I just feel like I got sick with this weird chronic Lyme, which by the way is a bioweapon, which was actually created here in Montana at the Rocky Mountain Labs in Hamilton. Crazy, just crazy. Um, but yeah, that's a whole nother topic. Oh my gosh, I can share so much on that topic. It's so crazy, it's so crazy. And it goes back to 1950s. I can't even believe that it's that old. Anyway, oh, my husband and I were talking about that last night. We gotta share more info on that topic. And by the way, he and I are gonna go live tonight. We're gonna be talking about the detox. And if you're just catching this here at the end of the video, go ahead and type detox if you wanna join our detox life group where we are hosting a 10 day detox starting on November 1st. And you're gonna order a kit to do that detox with us. It's super simple and you'll be guided all the way through. I have um, prep, daily prep challenges for you leading up to the November 1st. So go ahead and let me know if you wanna join that by typing detox. Also tonight, Rob and I will be going to live. So if you miss it live, catch the reply. Make sure you're clicking follow or see first on my profile so that you see when we're going live. Okay, thanks for showing up today on my chat about the detox life and we'll chat with you soon. Sending you love, bye-bye.